Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll be talking all about Gitbook. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So in a previous video, I talked about uh, Retool, a platform for software development and programming made for um, admin panels, UIs, or just software in general. Now in this video, I'll be talking about Gitbook. Now, the reason I bring it up is because in a sense, they're kind of the same thing. They're a platform that offer a suite of um, <clears throat> uh, products for uh, programming with pre-built functions that create your uh, program for you or your UI or tool, whatever. But uh, Gitbook specializes more on databases and documentation. Now, but what it does is that it cuts out the actual um, step or procedure of um, writing your own code from scratch. Because, um, like I said, everything is built into Gitbook. So everything that you could possibly need from um, uh, creating a user interface for uh, documents or a database, whatnot, I guess CRM would be an example. And a couple of its um, supported languages would be uh, PHP, um, Java, Python, JavaScript, um, HTML5, basically any language that um, our browser uses or the internet, you know, websites. Now, Gitbooks, uh, like I said, uh, exclusively specialize on documents and database. You can even see it in this illustration here, where it says that, um, or rather on the left side panel, it shows you a category for uh, product documents, engineering, company wiki. So basically all data and information. There's also like developer APIs, engineering RFC, stuff like that. And like I said, the way it works is that it creates the the whole interface for you, as well as its um, built-in functions. Now, a couple of um, uh, big tech conglomerates and companies that actually use GitHub are as shown here. So NordVPN, everyone knows NordVPN. There's Linear, Storylane, Octopus Deploy, SNYK, I'm not sure what this one is, but um, I'm pretty sure that these are all big companies. So if that's not a testament to how good Git, uh, Gitbook is, then I don't know what is. Now, Gitbook also utilizes AI, as it says so here. Under the beta version, it reads, um, extract the details that matter. Gitbook AI in interprets complex information and extracts useful snippets of knowledge, then documents them in your knowledge base so you and your team can find and use them later. So Git Gitbook has a built-in analytics feature that only extracts the relevant or important um, key features or words within a document. and and um, keeps a collection of them for you. Now in the alpha phase, say goodbye to context switching. Hook Gitbook up to the tools that uh, you use every day with integrations so you can create documents as you work in VS Code with your voice, oh, with v, uh, work in VS Code with your voice and find useful info right in your IDE. So from conversation to documentation, just solve a technical problem in an epic 163 message thread don't let that knowledge go to waste. Gitbook will take that unstructured information and extract only the, like I said, it only an analyzes and ex extracts the um, useful info using the power of AI. So on only the relevant information and keywords that actually do matter. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Keep your documents and code base in sync. With our GitHub and GitLab integrations, you can use, oh, uh, you can set up a frictionless two-way sync with a Git branch makes changes to one and the other updates automatically. So whether it's your engineers or your technical writers making an edit, you know everything will stay up to date. So that's pretty cool to know that, um, I mean, pretty much any modern or modern digital software being used in any business model today is just uh, utilizing AI and um, cloud computing. So that's pretty cool. Technical docs made easier. Um, say goodbye to outdated documents. Keeping your documents up to date used to be a chore, but with Gitbook's AI content audits, you can easily find and fix duplicated or con uh, conflicting information in your documents. So it actually looks for duplicates for you or errors within the registry and actually fixes it for you, uh, as well as um, uh, accounting errors or oversights or... Uh, the values that don't make sense, so uh, Gitbook actually fixes it for you. While user 
uh, while user scores and search analytics help you see what's working for users and what needs attention. So that's pretty cool. So this is um, a little bit of a little bit of what um, Gitbook's uh, user interface looks like. So you have the dashboard here, shows you the insights, uh, documents to audit, stuff like that. And like I said, it analyzes and extracts the important information within those head documents. So yeah, that's um, Gitbook in a nutshell. So if you guys feel like you've learned something in this video, uh, be sure to uh, let us know down in the comment section section below that you found this guide helpful. And if you guys want to see more guides like these, we do have a YouTube channel where we upload um, guides like these daily. So if you guys want to show your support to that, you can do so by subscribing to the channel as well as making sure that the bell notification is turned on. So with all that said, Thank you all for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.